Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Davis had some wild altercations with Raiders fans at SoFi Stadium. And much of the discussion was centered on head coach Josh McDaniels. And we know that fans have been kicked out of Allegiant Stadium in the past. Could this happen again as the Raiders set to face the Green Bay Packers at home? And by the way, that's Devontae Adams, former team. We're going to break this down, like, and subscribe for more content. So we know last season there were some... Some Raiders fans who were upset with the performance of the team, upset with Josh McDaniels, and during the Chiefs game, we had Raiders fans kicked out. We had this guy with the sign that said, Bench McDaniels, and he was asked to leave. He was removed from the stadium. This was when the Raiders were getting straight up owned against the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs did the freaking ring around the rosy thing, so it was a little upsetting experience for Raiders fans, okay? And these people were asked to leave. People thought it was messed up. You can't support displeasure against your team. You can't criticize your team. This has happened historically. We know people wear brown paper bags over their head when the team's doing poorly. And we had a fan on our show come on our show because they were kicked out because they had a sign last season that said Bench McDaniels keep car. And we had this fan on our show and they claim that the orders to kick him out came from the top of the top. A video sent to me from a friend over in the VIP on the Raiders side. And you can see it plain as day where I was at. Well, Mark Davis was over there. Long story short, security said it came from the top of the top. The sign had to get put away or I was getting removed from the stadium. Whoa. Okay. And that was during the San Francisco 49ers game last year when they tried to do it again and go to the Chiefs game right after they were told to put the sign away before they even started and security was looking after them. And so we had fans get kicked out of Allegiant Stadium last year for critical signs. We have rumors that it came from the top of the top, the highest of the highest, and now you're at SoFi Stadium here, not Mark Davis's home base, and you got Raiders fans coming after him. You had this man up upset about Josh McDaniels like a lot of us are. And he was somehow able to be in contact and close to Mark Davis. For some reason, Mark Davis is open air here at SoFi Stadium where lots of crazy rowdy Raiders fans could have access to him. F McDaniels and hire a horror ball. That's all I could hear. But this man's very upset. He knows Mark Davis is right there. He points. He does the turn at Mark Davis. Mark Davis, man, not even looking at this point. He's got the finger. He's got his thinking cap on as the Raiders are getting their ass whooped by the L.A. Chargers. And he doesn't say shit right here. And he doesn't say anything. And Mark Davis, you got to play it smart. You got to not say anything. But then things apparently took a sudden turn. We thought this was the end of the story. We thought the chapter was closed. But it turns out there's a part two. <laughs> so it looks as if in the same moment, Mark Davis ends up responding maybe to this guy. You can't see if it's the tank top guy in camera shot. But you can hear him. And you got Mark Davis giving a little response here. Smarten up, smarten up. That is Mark Davis's response. And look, I want to support the Raiders. I want to support the coach, but I'm not going to lie. That's rich Mark Davis telling somebody to smarten up when he's hired Josh McDaniels and has a haircut like that. <laughs> but it sounds like these same guys yelling at him. And so it seems like Mark Davis is telling them to smarten up, smarten up because they're yelling. And that's the same thing if you're going to criticize Mark Davis, if you do it in public. Ultimately, if you're loud, if you're cursing like that, you know, it, it makes the fans seem rowdy and it makes it seem like he's acting up in public. And that's why Mark Davis could just tell him to smarten up. Use your head. Use your head is, is, is the last thing by Mark Davis. Uh, th this is kind of interesting here. Yeah, and so... <laughs> he seems like not a happy camper right now. The Raiders are losing. The fans are upset. He's getting yelled at in public. And Mark had to just do the thumbs up here. And I'm curious what was said in this part. Use your head. 
I understand. I un- I think something about I understand. So it seems like Mark Davis, you know, and and this is the how you go through the emotions. He, I, it seems like it's that same guy with the tank top. Probably, probably, if we had to guess, if we had to do an educated guess. And then Mark Davis keeping it cool. He's got the chick next to him. Okay, you know, he's you know, nice, nice little blonde piece right next to Mark. <laughs> So he's keeping his cool. He's with his company. And then ultimately a a switch flips. Boom. Boom. That's when the switch flips right here. Smarten up. Smarten up. And that's when he gets, oh, you son of a, quit talking some shit. Smarten up. You're making a scene. And then it seems like the emotions dwindle down. So he's angry. He's pointing. He noticed that his company is kind of like, oh my goodness, Mark, you're killing the vibe. And then, and then he starts to get more relaxed here. He starts to get more relaxed. Use your head. And this is where he calms down, shrugging. I know, I know, I know. So I know, I know, I know. And then obviously this guy here, man, you got to watch out for that guy. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Mark security. The tank top guy seems like he's been lifting, but I don't know if he could take this dude. So what do we have, man? We have frustration during last season, a losing season, even though there was so much hype. You make a quarterback change. It's still the same result. It's still another losing season. And you got fans frustrated, getting kicked out of Allegiant Stadium last year. And now at SoFi Stadium, traveling on the road and confronting Mark Davis about the head coach, about the decisions being made by the front office. And you have Mark Davis getting upset about this, trying to keep his cool. Meanwhile, the Raiders are in a contract with Josh McDaniels four years from 40 million dollars this is the second year two more years after this on trending on twitter after the game on october 1st las vegas locally pointing this out it was it was mcdumbass fire mcdaniels and Devonte because everybody wants to know Devonte adams response to this head coach's performance and we saw Devonte adams have a cooler head this past week after the l last week he was very frustrated and now we're entering a matchup against the green bay packers on monday night football in front of the whole world to see. It seems very likely that Jimmy Garoppolo will be the quarterback in this game, especially if he passes concussion protocol. But Devontae Adams, if he takes an L to the Packers, the team that he left, the team that had a quarterback, Jordan Love, that he sort of shaded when he said he wanted to move on and play with the Raiders instead of working with some young guy like Jordan Love. Anybody, any other quarterbacks are, you know, on the, in Green Bay. You know, I love Jordan Love, especially he's a, he's a great guy. But, you know, I just I got I got aspirations of doing really, really big things and, and being remembered. And I just, you know, it just wasn't really a point in my career that I was willing to, to sacrifice, um, you know, Aaron not being there, you know, after a year or two. So. And if the Raiders get their ass whooped by the Packers, who's not a great team right now, by the way, on Monday Night Football in front of everybody at Allegiant Stadium, I think more fans are going to be heated. I think the players are going to be heated as well. And I think Mark Davis, if he's having trouble at SoFi Stadium, is going to have a lot of trouble at Allegiant Stadium and is going to have to kick out a lot more fans. It's still early, so technically they can say they're just working the kinks out, but it's reaching a tipping point right now, and I think the frustration in the stands is signed of that. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments below. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.